Welcome, welcome back. Jim here. So here we are looking at MuseScore Quick Tips number three, and it is all about the slurs, copying, pasting, dynamics, dynamic shortcuts. As you can see, I have three instruments out, piano, flute, and vibraphone. On beat four, I have um, the first 16th note highlighted, and I want to create a slur, and then I'm going to have that slur continue to the flute line where you'll see it in this measure without the mouse. Here I go. Shift keys down. And now I am going to go ahead and move the arrow key. Arrow key goes up. S for slur. Good job, Professor MuseScore. As you can see, didn't need to slur the rest. Some good programming there. Let's go ahead and do that again for uh, newer users. You're going to make sure that you have that note highlighted. Press the Shift key down. And if you want to go ahead, and highlight the next measure, arrow key up, S for slur. Now let's go ahead and copy and paste without using the mouse. Now how do we get out of this? Do we remember? You can go ahead and press the N key, cancel out of it. I'm going to take the flute line there and I want to copy and paste that so it's up at the piano treble clef area. So I'm going to go ahead and press the N key again. The note is just blue, shift key down. And I'm going to control C that. And now I want to go ahead. I'm going to press N. I'm going to press Alt key going up. Now I can't copy and paste it yet. If I do, nothing will happen. You have to press the N key. Control V for paste. Let's try that again. It seems like a lot of steps, and I'm trying to slow it down. But when you get it down, it's very quick. Copy that small little phrase. Shift key down. Control C. Now to get out of that, N key. You're going to go up the staff. As you go up, not using the mouse, Alt key down, going up, N key, just the blue rest, Control V. It's a good way to copy and paste. Now I want to talk about dynamics. I am going to go ahead and start from the beginning. Quick tip here for dynamics without accessing the palette. I want the beginning to start uh, perhaps soft. I am going to go ahead and press Control, then E. Now I'm going to press Control Shift P, and there you have it. I press the Alt key to get out of it. Now I'm going to note. And now I want to add dynamics on all the staffs at once. I do have to use uh, the mouse for this. Control keys down, highlighting the notes. Click on this. Now I'm going to go ahead and double click on that dynamic. There we go. Let's take a look at that again. I'm going to highlight all the notes. Control key is down, and then you double click on the dynamic of your choice. I want to have hairpin, a crescendo. I'm going to go ahead, shift key, and I'm going to move up to that point. Shift keys down, and then on the comma key. There you go. I want to have a hairpin on a few of the phrases, on a few of the instruments, excuse me. Shift keys down, and I use the arrow to go down to the vibraphone part. And I want to crescendo through that phrase. Shift keys down. There you go. Hello everyone, thank you for watching today's video. And if you've enjoyed that video, you must watch this video as well, so you can keep learning. Now, as you might have heard, YouTube is changing their policy. So us young YouTubers, or new YouTubers, we are going to be getting ads on our videos. And I'm just letting people know that it's out of our control. So please bear with me. Now, if I can get enough subscribers, I'll be able to control the ads and I'll be able to get paid. So do that for us, that'd be great. Seriously, it's really important that everyone knows that when you start clicking on videos on new YouTubers, please know that we can't control the ads as far as I've learned. We cannot control the ads, but once we get monetized, we can control those ads and choose where we want to put them in the video. And that's really important. Consider subscribing. Take care. Bye.